Hi guys, I'm Lucas and this is 442 Performance. Welcome to our new show, You Ask, We Answer. In this episode, we're going to be answering the question of Oliver Taylor, who wants to know how to improve your touch. We're here at Southampton's training ground, speaking to Moroccan technician, Sufyan Bufal, and let's see what he says. Sufyan, Oliver wants to know how to improve your first touch. Tout simplement, euh, c'était quand j'étais petit, quand je m'entraînais euh, bah, dans la rue avec les amis, quand je jouais dans, dans, dans le quartier. Souvent, on avait, on avait peu d'espace, donc euh, il fallait se servir de la première touche, du premier contrôle pour pouvoir éliminer l'adversaire. Donc, euh, bah, c'est comme ça que j'ai appris. Et puis, au fur et à mesure du temps, au fil du temps, euh, euh, c'est resté. Et puis, euh, maintenant, voilà, le, comme on dit, le, le, le plus important, c'est euh, la, première, la première touche. Et euh, c'est là où tu fais la différence, donc euh, j'essaye de, de m'améliorer là-dessus. Was there anything that you did when you was younger to improve your touch on the street? Alors quand j'étais petit, je faisais beaucoup de foot en salle. Okay. Five against five. Yeah. Et euh, c'est vraiment là où j'ai appris mes dribbles, c'est vraiment là où j'ai appris à, à, à jouer tout simplement, à faire de ma force le, la technique, le dribble. Et euh, c'est vraiment là où j'ai appris avec les amis, quand on faisait 3 contre 3, 2 contre 2, dans des petits espaces. C'est vraiment là que j'ai appris ma, ma, ma technique et euh, le jeu dans les petits espaces. Tout simplement en s'entraînant, comme je vous l'ai dit, de voir avant de recevoir. C'est-à-dire prendre la formation et après se servir de la première touche pour pouvoir éliminer l'adversaire. Par exemple, je reçois le ballon et avant de recevoir le ballon, je regarde où est mon adversaire. S'il est à gauche, je me servir du contrôle orienté comme ça pour pouvoir l'éliminer. Ou si la droite me sert du contrôle orienté pour voir l'éliminer à gauche. La première touche, le plus important dans la première touche, c'est de voir pour en recevoir. C'est ça le plus important. Right, great tips from Sofiane. Now it's time to put it into practice. Today we have elite skills coach Scott Wright from Cova Coaching to help us improve our first touch. So let's see what he got in store for us. Scott, mate, how you doing? Hey, nice to meet you. Take care, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Good, good. So you've heard the tips from Sufyan. Yeah. What have you got in store for us today? So we've got a simple little practice, just involves three discs, um, that's going to help to develop first touch skills using both feet, um, but also looking to break first touch down into two parts, uh, touch direction and touch speed. Right, let's go. Let's go. So Lucas, this is the setup that we're using. So we've got three cones in a, in a, a triangle shape. Um, this one's about three, three yards away from the wall. It just creates like a, a five yard area where we're going to work in in here. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do um, is we're going to be using the wall to actually be the passer because again if you're on your own and you want to practice you maybe can't rely on your, on your mates. Play the, with the right foot, drop back and open up my hips and shoulders to be facing the direction that I want the ball to go in because I want to work on that uh, first touch direction. I'm going to use that left foot I'm playing a left foot pass, I'm dropping off and I'm stepping on. Dropping off and stepping on. Right foot pass, drop off. There you go, open your body up, direct the ball through. That's it, drop off, step on, open your body, drop off, step on now, open your body, good. Hips and shoulders, step on, good. Really drive onto the ball. You almost got to get like that. So remember, hips and shoulders will dictate where that ball goes. That's my touch direction. So don't be like this, don't be square on when the ball comes back, you gotta open up. Coming in, good defenders pressing. There we go. You got it. Get that little ball in. Defenders pressing. That's why it's so important to get out on one. Yeah, do you think do you think kids nowadays are more focused on the fancy stuff of the, of the game instead of like the simple bit? Yeah, I, I, look, I think young players are going to emulate their heroes, aren't they? Yeah. Um, but it, at the end of the day, you know, your first touch is everything in football. We call it the golden touch. Yeah. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it creates time, it creates space. So this is exactly the same, but we want to start to work on some visual skills as well. Hugely important because there's got to be a reason why you're directing your touch, where you're directing your touch. So all I'm going to do, and again this could be your mate, so you, uh, have a little go of what we were just doing. I'm going to stand here and before you take that first touch I'm just going to flash a disc. So you have to call out orange or blue before you take that first touch. Alright, so have a little go. Blue. Good. So drop off. Orange. Good. So drop off Orange. and step on, good. The drop off. Blue. Good. Get your hips and shoulders turned. 
Loop. Open your body, hips and shoulders. That's it, drop off, step orange. on. Good. Drop off, step on. Blue, orange. Good, bit earlier. Blue. Oh, I'll tell you what, you, you, you're testing yourself here. That's what we want. Ah, blue. Ah. As you get more proficient, can you deal with that ball that's being blue, being dropped in? Yeah, that goes back to what Sufjan was saying, how when he was a kid, the little small-sided games, that was the main skill that he used to do. Yeah, absolutely. And then it's just about now in the, you know, I guess in, in, in the modern time where maybe street football's not played as much as it used to be um, because of all the factors that we have now, all, all the distractions um, and so on. Um, being able to practice on your own is really, really important. And I think this, this little setup we've got here, um, it's very, very simple, but it comes down to do you want to do it? So the third variation now, is using your touch direction and speed to actually move an opponent out of the space you want to move into. So uh, obviously Sofian is a creative attacking midfielder. Um, so this is a really good movement to use when you're in the middle of the pitch, um, especially as you're heading towards goal to change angle of attack. Might be to create space to, to run with the ball, to pass or to shoot. Um, so the idea now is you're going to be playing that right, uh, sorry, left foot pass because we're um, at the orange uh, orange disc. It's a left foot pass, you're going to drop off, you're going to step onto the ball and when we break the line here, you're going to use something that we call a pull push behind. So as you bring that defender across, you use the sole of the foot, the inside of the foot and the outside of the opposite foot to change the angle. But what this will all come back down to is this, um, what we call ball mastery. So this little exercise, this uh, or little skill, the pull push behind, um, can just be done high repetition using both feet. Um, so effectively, all we're, all we're looking to do in here is create this little V-shape. So it's one with the sole, one with the inside, one with the outside. So it's one, two, three. 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 Now you might look at that on its own and think, well, you would never do that in the game. 100% players do that in the game. So you take me in, there's your pull push, furthest foot for a pass because the defender's going to be on your right side. Go on then. So you direct me across into here, pull push behind, little right foot touch and a right foot pass. Step on with your left foot. So you're sucking me in, you're moving everyone behind me. Change the angle of attack and look at all that space you've created. Scott, how do you think I did? So I think you did really well. It's a, it's a workout and a half. Exactly. Obviously in this, um, I think one thing that gets missed is the physical load that happens in practice like this. Um, I think um, you did well on your right side. I think you definitely need to work on your left. I think that's a common problem that, that we see with, with a lot of players. Um, but again, with this look, it's super simple. So in the end, if you want to get better with both feet and improve your first touch, improve your 1v1, you have to get down the park, you have to get, get practicing. And, and hopefully this little, uh, little exercise we've done today, I can do it on my own, I can do it with my friend. Um, is going to have a massive impact on it. Okay. Scott, thank you very Great much. Job. Hope to see you soon. Nice one. Take see care. See ya. So, Oliver, hopefully that's answered your questions. If any of you at home want to learn something on the pitch, let us know in the comment section below and we'll find you the answers. Before you go, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. I'm Lucas Sequeira and we'll see you soon.